Hello, good morning. We are at California Adventure today. I am so excited. I, I love when you like go around the corner from what I remember and the fun wheel is right there. I'm I have never seen it with Pixar overlay yet. I, I'm freaking out. I'm just so I'm I'm kind of already in the gate right now. So <laughs> I think this is like the happiest I've been in a very long time this trip. Like I'm just so happy to be here. I think the first thing we're going to do is go get some breakfast. I'm trying to like figure out where I would like breakfast the most. By the way, I lost my printed ticket that they gave me on my first day and I had to go get one reprinted because I tried to come in with the one that was on the app and it had a barcode on it. And at Disney World, you know, they just let you go up to the ticket stand and they'll reprint you a new one. But here, I, I just had a very weird encounter with a cast member and she was like, well, where is your ticket? And I said, I must have lost it. I was probably just so excited. I didn't realize what they handed me was my ticket into the park. And she was like, we can only reprint those one time for you and I'm trying to protect you and I was like protect me I was like I just I just lost the ticket and she's like what an irresponsible thing for you to have done and I said why are you being mean to me and then I you know I stopped myself and I said okay okay and then she's like what do you want me to do and I was like well can you just can we just reprint it she's like just this one time and I was like I I understand and I said I, I won't lose it again and she's like but why did you lose your ticket and where did you put it and I thought kind of she was kidding at first not at all she was so mad and it was very weird it was weird the moral of the story is don't lose your ticket because the, um, they don't like that around here at all <laughs> I'm laughing because I must I have the fuel rod in my backpack and I went to stand up and walk and I, I was dragging it with the phones in my pocket <laughs> and I felt this thing drag and hang from me and okay it was just really funny like I said, breakfast is my favorite meal of the day and I don't get to eat it very often because I'm not usually awake and ready for breakfast time. So I'm really excited that we can have breakfast. And just like how I felt yesterday where I was walking around and I had no idea where I was going, I feel that way here too. I have no idea where I'm going. Schmoozies. Oh, I forgot I can make a, I can make a fast pass. What am I doing? Let's see what we got. We're going to do the new Tower of Terror. Well, I guess it's not Tower of Terror anymore. The last time I was here, this was actually in like blackout edition. So it was like the last week of it and the whole ride was just black with no sound. It was really fun. While on the hunt for breakfast, we ran into Mike and Sully to the rescue and I think since we're here, we should just do it anyway. Pretty see. Oh boy, we're getting closer to Monstropolis. Okay, we're here. I know that this will definitely put me in a good mood after all that. Because once I see he picked me up with his mind powers and shook me like a dog, I'm gonna be so excited. While you're in town, be sure to interrupt this program for a special report. Oh no. I tried to run from it, but it picked me up with its mind powers and shook me like a dog. It's true! I saw the whole thing! That's the part? That's the part! Happy birthday, Show her oh, kind of yeah. yeah. There he is! <laughs> Did anybody ever try to figure out what she's saying there? I've YouTubed it and I still don't really know what she's saying. Hollywood Studios. We have to get back to our mission of finding breakfast. Oh, that says Hollywood Studios too. Something caught my eye. I see spots. Oh, there is a Dalmatian in there. Crazy. This makes me miss Streets of America really bad. And the Osborne lights. Why? Why would they do that? I just don't understand it. Like, it's supposed to be like old Hollywood themed here. And I don't get it. I don't get it. Why though? Just 
Why would you take, oh, I obviously have no idea where I'm going because I can't go past there. I went completely wrong way. At this point, we might as well stay over here because our fast pass is literally for 10.25 and it is 10.15. It's been one whole minute, it's 10.16. I'm not gonna knock it until I try it though because I don't like Star Wars. Well, I don't even know if I like Star Wars or not. I've never even seen it, so I can't really say. But I don't like Guardians and I, I, I have seen the Guardians movies. So maybe I will actually like it, right? Let's let's try to stay positive here, come on. Oh, I wanted to look for Figma. Oh, there he is. All right, now we're in Dr. Shitterbomb's office. My friends. Oh, he's fancy. From what I remember, there's like two stories in here. Like there's an upstairs and a downstairs. I think. Yep, yep, okay. But we're downstairs. Oh my gosh, chow chow. Anytime I'm like getting Gracie's breakfast ready, I'm always like, Gracie, are you ready for your chow chow? I'm like, are you ready for some chow chow? I guess, but it was so much fun. I don't, I, it was fun because like you like tried to like hold her music. It was, okay, I love Tower of Terror, but that wasn't bad. It was actually so fun. I was, it was, I don't know if it's just the ride concept and I just loved it anyway. It wasn't bad and I don't like Guardians of the Galaxy, so. I'm serious. I really liked it. I really liked it. All right, now we're back on our mission to find something to eat. There's Cars Land, but I think we're gonna skip that and go over back towards the fishy area. You know, we're going over to the, the WHARF, the wharf. All right, now we're gonna do California Screaming. I love this. They have a single rider line. Uh, that's all right though, right? It's all right. It's so good. You guys are probably going to think I'm the worst, but I don't like The Incredibles either. So I don't know what I'm gonna think about this. I don't hate everything. I like a lot of things. I sound like I don't, but I do. great oh man you know what I could say it was incredible right okay and if you guys know me you know I love mac and cheese and you know I love bread so we had just mobile ordered I'll show you actually I'll just show you right now look at that I thought this was mashed potatoes at first so I thought this was like a super like a super carb meal Okay, let's have a bite. Oh, that was, that was, what's that? Come on, you know better. Oh my gosh, this is so, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this. This is even better than what I thought it was going to be. What? It is really, really good. <gasps> oh, I'm flinging noodles. These. These are, these are not Velveeta noodles. These, they're Barilla noodles. The real deals, the real shells. You know what I meant, I meant the macaronis. You know what this tastes like? You know in high school on mac and cheese day and they would have like the noodles and you know the lunch lady left them out for a long time and but you, when you got them they were just so good and they're like, you could tell like they've been just sitting under the heat lamp but it was like perfection. Like that is exactly what this is. It's like high school 
all over again and like living the dream. That was amazing. That was probably the best meal I've ever had on Disney property. And I mean that, it was so good. I had a self timer on, but for taking a picture, it just like started recording. I don't know why. Hello. This is the lava song. Be somebody to love. I remember the first time I ever heard this lava volcano song. It was in the beginning of Inside Out. But now Inside Out is playing. <laughs> Look at that. There's Jesse's critter carousel. It's so cute down here. It's like it's just it's so cute. Like so umbrellas are puzzle balls. And it, it's just like, I don't even know what this area is, but it's great. This reminds me of that TikTok, but it's like supposed to be happening here. I have done this once before and it was the most terrifying thing I've ever done in my life. I mean, this ride scares me as much as bees scare me. Like it's in my top two biggest fears of my life is the fun wheel, swinging gondolas, and bees. So why am I torturing myself? I have no idea. Didn't we all just talk about that? I, I couldn't even handle Soren. What did I do? I am freaking out. I can already feel my throat like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. <laughs> One loop around. Oh no! Is there another loop around? I can't even. I'm not even kidding. Like, I, I cannot swallow. I can't breathe. I cannot swallow. I can't breathe. I'm, I cannot swallow. I really thought this time it was all going to be different, and I don't know why. Because, like I said, we have already discussed the Soren thing and how I ever was scared on Soren, and now I'm scared on Soren. My heart, my heart, I can feel my heart. And this is it. This is the end. We are, this is the end. If this, oh my gosh. I can't talk about it. It's, I just can't. I just can't. I just can't. I just can't. I'm like watching our, I'm watching our track. I'm like trying to prepare myself. like when our thing is going to like let off and swing us but it seems we're going down at a nice slow steady pace and it, I don't think it's going to be a bad descent into the station like the last one was this horrid I am out of here Never again. I, I, if it, I would kiss the ground right now. I mean, I would take a flu bug over that any day. And I cannot be the only one that feels that way about this thing. I really thought, I, I just, I, I mentally prepared myself. Even the jellyfish ride, I just don't think that's up my speed now. I mean, I don't know what I can do anymore. It smells really bad right here. I think it's this like rock hole, but this is going to be a really pretty shot when the swings are going and the roller coaster goes by and then this wheel is going at the same time it's gonna look pretty neat just standing here minding our own business and look at this the music gets loud and here comes a dragon we're celebrating chinese new year though right now oh he's long look at that it's like a little mini parade oh and the lunar new year is the year of the mouse there's Wushu. And then Goofy and Chip and Dale and Mickey and Minnie. 
Look at how cute they look. Isn't this great? Awesome, so we got to have a little parade there. That was really fun, and Mickey and Minnie waved at us. That was really cute. And I got that little clip I wanted. So now, trying to stuff my phone in my backpack, we are gonna head over to our Radiator Springs Fast Pass. Corn Dog Castle. Look at that shrimp. He's a very dapper shrimp up there. You see it? See him? A car. Hi, everybody. Hi. Nice to see you. Woo. What's a jalopy? because I don't want to upload 50 minute long vlogs. I think we're going to end the vlog right now. So this will be like part one of day two. And yeah, we'll end this right here. And then I will see you next week for part two of this day. How's that? That sounds good, right? I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that was all started by a mouse. Now that's why I want this part of the show to belong to Mickey. Because the story of Mickey is truthfully the real beginning of Disneyland.